Okay, uh, I've been learning how to use the um, uh, program the PIC chip uh, built by Microchip. I've installed MPLAB ID, which stands for Integrated Development Environment. Um, I'll just start that program. Now, just uh, getting started here, start with Project, Project Wizard. Next, uh, I've selected the chip type, which is the PIC 18F4321, which is what we're using at university here. Next, now I've uh, installed uh, high tech uh, the Universal uh, Tool Suite. Uh, this is um, a, a limited version. It, uh, it, it's fully functional but doesn't create totally highly efficient code. The code is a bit inefficient but still perfectly fine. Uh, just go next. Create new project name. So set browse. Uh, create a test file name. So test. Okay. Save. Next, you can add any uh, C programs that you might might have used previously here. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to start fresh. So go ne next and then finish. Now I'm going to add a C program. So I click on source file, add files, and this folder that I've got open here is uh, under program files. Uh, microchip and uh, MPLAB C18 which is the uh, 18 pick chip version 3 examples and uh, getting started and I've got some programs in here just to get started with so main C open if you double click on that you can see a bit of code here uh, which um, resets all the LEDs and lights all the LEDs. Now if I go into project build options for project, I go into linker, I can make sure that the debugger is set to the PIC Kit 3 uh, programmer debugger a hardware unit which is now currently attached to our CQ University um, prototyping board developed in-house with the PIC chip that I previously specified. Go apply and go OK. Now if I go up here and do build, you'll find that that code will build properly. So it's building there and build successful. So I'm just going to pause it right there and that's just a little bit of a start into this um, using the MLAB IDE program.